I fight because it's something that I choose to do. I love fighting. Fighting's better than uh, anything else. I'd rather not flip burgers, I'd rather just knock people out. Way to victory is a smash, brother. And he's over here smashing, brother. It's not cool, brother. Now give me some wrestling advice. Hey, Khabib, come on. I can, I can do that, I mean, I'm pretty relaxed. I mean, the thing is, I don't have a fourth quarterman. Throw on my white jacket, come over here and help me. Best part of my game, the way I talk, the way I walk, everything, the way I move. <laughs> mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. Got Kevin on the mic, what we gonna do, woo, woo. <laughs> All right, okay, playing, guys, okay, playing. I'm not shooting for takedowns. He's the one that wants to hump me. I got married not too long ago. If I want to do some humping, I stay at home and hump my wife. Excuse my language, but I mean, that's just how the way it goes. But I don't know, you have to stop his wrestling. <laughs> Control your hips. I'm a fun fight, and I'm a beatable guy. You know, at the end of the day, I'm the type of person that you can't beat. Was that a thumbs up you gave after getting when uh, Cowboy was on your back? Yeah, just because, you know, the ref had told me before the fight, he was like, you know, don't say nothing if you get in a submission. You know, you got to do something. You got to show me something. So as soon as he put me in a submission, I was like, ha ah, ha, you know what I mean? Like, I'm good to go. You know, maybe we can get some more trolls in. I, honestly, it's like, I need a TV show. I got a couple names in mind, but uh, yeah, we need to get something done. That's People great. absolutely love it. And I love doing it. And I want to keep it authentic. I don't want nothing fake to be about it. I want to keep beating these trolls up. Your nickname is Trailblazer, Trollblazer, starring Kevin Holland. Yes. Trollblazer, starring... They ask you what you want to do in high school, ladies and gentlemen. Tell them you want to wrestle. Just case you ever get a head like Kevin Holland. Look up to this our catching bad guys. He stole his car and he got it. Dude, life's been crazy, bro. I constantly have these dreams of like getting a headbutt and then this like big guy on my back licking the top of my brain like Nah, I'm just playing, bro. Life's been great. Life's been fantastic. Yeah, so I looked over at you guys and no offense to you guys, but I noticed that DC wasn't here. So I said if it starts wrestling, I ain't gonna have the wrestling advice. So I just they gotta go ahead and get it out the way a little early. So you're relying on DC to give you the advice now? I'll have to let him know that. Yeah, he left before I can get the cheat code. That ain't right. You know what I mean? I do feel a little faster. I mean, it's like a, a good vehicle. You know, if you got a good car, you should put good oil in there, good gas in there, so on and so forth, right? So I feel like I'm putting the good stuff in the car. What is your strain of choice post fight? Uh, strain? THC? All the roaches that my boys been smoking throughout the week, I just wanna be able to be a part of the group. I'm like, yeah, give me all the blunts you guys <laughs> smoked the whole time I couldn't smoke so I can try everything you guys had all in one. So it's a fat ass roach blunt. I just took out one cowboy. I'd hate to call out another, but uh. Called out the other cowboy, I think, at the end of the fight. He's sitting octagon side. Did you see him? No, I was just throwing up stupid shit. You know me, I'd be just talking. Kevin, what's going on? It's cowboy. I was taking a piss in the commode when you called me out. I'll come back to 70 and uh. We can dance, baby. I used to be sponsored by this company named Specimen, right? Uh -huh. And so I had this shirt on from Specimen. And he was like, hey, that's my shirt. I had walked past him and I was like, yo, what's up, OG? But I was talking to my coach, you know what I mean? I call my coach OG. I guess he felt some type of way, you know what I mean? And he said something, so I said something back. Next thing you know, he like swung at me. I'm just curious, what did he say? Like he said, like, that was his shirt. <laughs> He's like, you got on my <laughs> shirt. And I was like, bro, this ain't your fucking shirt. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Looking at me all crazy. And then he was like, whoa. And I was like, what the fuck? And I like dodged it. It was funny though. I mean, honestly, now that I look back, it was funny. I had never thought about a no contest. I'm not that type of person. And as far as I'm concerned, he knocked me out and choked me out in one fight. If it was a street fight, he would have got the job done. Kung Fu first, defend yourself at all times. I didn't defend myself from the head, but that's my fault. Kevin Trailblazer Hollins in our main events. Had a thumbs up you gave after getting when uh, Cowboy was on your back? Yeah, just because, you know, the ref had told me before the fight, he was like, you know, don't say nothing if you get in a submission. You know, you got to do something. You got to show me something. So as soon as he put me in a submission, I was like, ha, ha, you know what I mean? Like, I'm good to go. Don't worry about it. It's like, I could be a sponge right now, and then after I go get this dub, I can go back to just being a complete.
so and I appreciate that. <laughs> a little better, right, DC? Oh my goodness, he's talking over here. And he was a talented guy and he won his fight. The entire fight he was talking to me. This guy comes in and, and is talking the entire fight. So I said, I'm I'm not signing this guy. Tiago Santos's fight falls out. I said, let's call some contender guys then that we liked. They all turned down the fight. I said, call Big Mouth. I want to see if Big Mouth takes this fight. Took the fight, came in and fought the fight, still talking. In there with Tiago Santos, this beast. Talking so much his mouthpiece fell out twice, but wow, he looked good. Much respect to, to Holland. You're trying to set up a Chamaya fight for a week from today. And that's what he does, right? Yes. I think I do it better. Who's fought the most this year? I mean, I think he should stay at 70. I think he could be a champ at 170, but he comes up here to 85, and I'm gonna bang that boy up. <laughs> I'm gonna bang him up, Joe. I would love it if you got a fight in a week from now. Tell him let me know. I'm driving to Cali tonight, so if I gotta drive back here tomorrow, I'll do that. A few moments later. I needed PE credits. I needed every credit that I could get, and uh, they offered certain credits for doing the martial arts program. We got out there. It was pretty fun the first day. I beat up everybody, but the martial arts instructor beat the crap out of me. I was like, dude, if that old man could beat me up without breaking the sweat, I was like, imagine how good I'd be. So I had this idea that I was gonna learn martial arts, I was gonna rob drug dealers. That way I could smoke weed for free. I mean, we're here for an MMA fight, and I think the fans wanna see some, uh, a little bit more banging. I liked it when we were going for submissions, but when we were just laying there, it was like, dang, what are we doing here, bro? We're getting a little too intimate. I got married not too long ago. If I wanna get intimate, I do that with her. I came to Philly to catch a body, not to make love. It's not my fault that everybody that I was originally scheduled to fight got sick or uh, caught cramps inside their little vajaja and just couldn't pull up. I felt the headbutt in the beginning, so I was like, oh man, I looked at his face and I seen blood, I was like, are we both cut? Or am I just cut? <laughs> we had a conversation about my cardio. It looked a little bit better tonight. It's because I laid off that other thing we talked about. <laughs> I used to look up to some of these other fighters, but you know, once you start meeting them in person, you realize they're not really who you want to look up to. So, and I'm glad that I'm inspiring people, but please, if you're at home and you're watching this and you're a parent, I'm not your kid's role model. Trust me. Comic books, video games, tennis shoes, and food. Those would have to be my, uh, my, my top things to to do on the off time. And a little bit of skateboarding every once in a while. We can do it again. He smells good, so I don't have a problem with it. How would you describe his scent? Beautiful fragrance, you know? Smell like a uh, clean sweat in the octagon. You could tell he took a shower before we fought. That was good. Some guys don't take showers before we fight and it sucks. What stands out to you the most? Knocking out Buckley. The things that stands up the most is knocking out Buckley and then watching him do the, the fight after. You know, it's like I, I, I birthed him into the game and then to see him do that after, I am so proud of Miho. <laughs> You know, it's like, you couldn't ask for a better son. You know, it's like, unless you're talking about my actual son, then he shits on everybody. I don't care about a belt because I can buy my own gold. I would be that fun fighter who never won a title, who had a bone in front of him and he freaking went out there and ate all the ham off of it until he got to the bone. Kev's gonna eat. How do you envision that fight playing out? Couple fast strikes, quick shot for a takedown, hip bump, big block, little block, uppercut, go home riding my Chevy. <laughs> you want to fight one more time before yeah. the end of the year? Yeah. And if so, I can, do, I can do catch weight at 175, 180, or if Mike Perry wants to do 185, November 21st, let's go. And then they told me they want me to fight somebody December 12th, I could do that too. And then if you want me to fight somebody before Christmas one more time, let's do that too. I'm trying to break records, let's go. I like the kid a lot. He's a really good kid. He's got a great attitude. And you know what? He made a load of money this year. He made a lot of money. Tune in. I just seen Khabib as well in the locker room, so I feel like my inner grappling is fully channeled in and my will to stop headbutts after talking to Vittori is there. What did Khabib say? He just shook my hand. I felt the power like within. I was like, oh, he said, you're looking skinny. But other than that, I mean, it was just like, oh, the goat was shaking your hand, you know? I mean, I feel like I'm just shaking off all those losses just like that. One of my coaches said you can't smoke weed out there, so I never hopped on a plane, to be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. See that? Too many weed comments. I got kicked off the mic. Bye. <laughs>